Theo, if you wouldn't mind um, carrying on and teaching us a little bit more about the Ethics Bowl and your experience in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Um, thanks, Adele, and um, thank you, Maya, and thanks to the uh, organizers at SFU for having me. So um, we introduced the SX Expo to Shanghai three years ago, and um, over the past years as the director, I uh, came to realize that what we sort of introduced is not just um, a new discussion format, but um, there's also a whole set of values that is introduced. and. Uh, which, which involves issues like how we would view uh, disagreements, how we would treat um, the study of ethics itself, and how we understand the community. So um, um, first about disagreements. So uh, one thing I found particularly interesting while observing some of our coaching sessions is that many students uh, tend to take either a wholly defensive or a wholly attacking attitude when they first came to agreements. Um, but gradually after these sessions, we started to hear um, acknowledgments of how, uh, you know, someone else could have correctly pointed out a logical fallacy of mine or um, how I really could have, you know, just neglected a, a significant moral dimension in the issue, etc. And I think these confessions are um, definitely not just uh, rhetorical techniques, but they're actually, uh, they're pretty frank, actually. And um, in addition to, uh, I think, simply being aware of the truthfulness of other people's arguments, um, they also start to realize many concerns that sort of motivate those arguments and, and just understand why, why somebody else is holding that position. And it could be because of differences in personal values, cultural background, family background, religious beliefs, gender, etc. And um, this sort of ties us to the um, my second point at how people uh, could change their views on ethics itself. So because of these diverse backgrounds of us, um, at the beginning, many of um, our participants um, would more or less hold a somewhat relativist view on ethics that, um, that just says that, well, simply anything goes. Like you have your views and I have mine, and let's just move on. So um, I think th this kind of relativist view is largely the consequence of thinking about ethics, ethics or ethical truths as something that's, that must be universal or abstract or uh, like high up in the sky, which there could be none, but it really need not to be like that. So um, if you have your views and I have mine, as a matter of fact, we could still reason and argue in a fairly productive and constructive way. And that is what we all have been doing in the Essex Bar. So uh, for me, I think the realization that there is uh, sort of no universal verdict that applies to every situation or person uh, doesn't need to result in a rejection of ethical discussion. But it what it really teaches us is that Essex is a kind of practice that needs to be uh, forever continued, uh, not for reaching a universal consensus, but to sort of bridge the gaps and different differences among us to the best we can. So uh, that leads us to the final point about community building in the Essex book. So in our last, last Essex book season, which was during the pandemic, uh, we happened to have a team from Wuhan participating online. So in our, one of our Zoom free chat sessions, we had the chance to hear a lot of stories from these Wuhan students. Um, I mean, certainly, uh, Wuhan is like in the global spotlight during the pandemic, but um, hearing from the citizens and students there personally, I think, is entirely different from like reading the news. And that's exactly what the Essex book can do. Um, it's as simple as giving each other, uh, each of us an opportunity to just to get to know each other personally, while leaving aside all the conflicts or stereotypes that we might have for each other. And uh, personally, I think the ESX Expo is so well, well qualified to do this uh, because what it teaches students is exactly how we would cope with, uh, you know, complex ethical dilemmas and diversity in our opinions. Yeah, so um, to conclude, I really hope the ESX Expo could uh, continue its positive influence in our communities and um, potentially make some big difference in the future. Thank you.